Hello everyone. This is an important weekend for a lot of Canadians, and though we can't celebrate in groups with our extended families, it's important to stay connected virtually and reach out to our loved ones. Whether you're marking Easter, Passover, Tamil New Year or Vasaki, this weekend is a chance to take a pause and reflect on what really matters. To think about where we are and how we got here. We're facing really tough times right now, there's no doubt. But as a country, we've been through tough times before. Just think of what it was like on Easter Monday in 1917. Think about the thousands of soldiers from across Canada who ran uphill through sleet and mud at Vimy Ridge into enemy fire to defend the values we hold dear. Many made the ultimate sacrifice that day, but their bravery and courage live on in our nurses, doctors, paramedics and custodial workers, in our truckers, cashiers and all frontline workers. They are our heroes now, standing on the shoulders of those who came before. And today, we're all being called upon to join them and to serve. The greatest generation showed us how to fight for what we believe in and how to make sacrifices for what we hold dear. Well, they are precisely the ones most at risk now. For them, without reservation, without pause, we must fight for every inch of ground against this disease. This is our duty. This is what will save lives and help our country come roaring back. I know that we will rise to the challenge because as Canadians, we always do. There's no question that the coming weeks and months will be hard. This is a fight like most of us have never faced. It will test us all in our own way. This disease has already taken too many people from us. If you've lost a loved one, know that we're mourning with you through this incredibly difficult experience. This pandemic has taken much from many families, workers and businesses across our country. If you're having trouble making ends meet, know that we're working every day to help you bridge to better times. If you're feeling isolated or depressed, know that there are supports for you. Know that you're not alone. And like so many Canadians before us, we will stand together, shoulder to shoulder, metaphorically, united and strong. The most important thing to remember is the fact that how we act today and tomorrow will determine how quickly we defeat COVID-19. This is the challenge of our generation, and each and every one of us has a role to play. If we all take this seriously, stay apart from each other right now, stay home as much as possible and listen to our health experts, we'll get past this sooner and stronger than ever. When we come out of this, and we will come out of this, we will all take pride in the sacrifices we've made to protect each other and to protect the country we love. To all the kids at home watching, I want to speak directly to you, as I do every Sunday. Thank you for everything you've been doing to get us here. We're doing okay. I know it doesn't seem that way, and I know it's a scary time, and I know you want to see your friends. But we're counting on you to keep doing your part, to keep staying home, and to keep being there for your moms and dads. So many of you are pitching in, helping out, and being heroes right now. We need you to keep staying strong because you're a big part of this too. And if there's one thing I know, it's that you're up for this challenge. Together, we will get through this.